Hi, this is Kip Welchlin and welcome to Welchlin.com. Today's video blog is on cross-cultural communication. The question is, isn't it about time? Kit, I teach a college night class. It starts at 6.30 p.m. sharp. Some of the students arrive five or 10 minutes early. Some of the students walk in 20 or 30 minutes late. I'm thinking my class, my time. Could it be a cross-cultural communication issue? It could be. Cultures organize time and space differently. A researcher named Edward Hall categorizes cultures as either monochronic or polychronic. Monochronic orientations emphasize schedules, the compartmentalization and segmentation of measurable units of time. In these cultures, time is thought of as almost physical. We often hear terms like saving time, spending time, wasting time, and losing time. As we say, time is money. Through compartmentalizing and segmenting time, a person's day is completely planned and scheduled, including sleep, work, and leisure. This is sometimes referred to as a displaced time orientation. Tardiness and missed appointments are a source of anxiety and tension. In polychronic cultures, schedules are not as important and appointments are frequently broken. In these cultures, a person may be engaged in several activities in the same place and with several people simultaneously. This is sometimes referred to as diffused time orientation. Polychronic people can do many things at once and relationships take priority over schedules and they can comfortably tolerate interruptions and distractions. The guiding principle of being in the present guides their behavior. I see, I see, I, I may need to lighten up a little on the tardiness thing. It probably isn't as disruptive to my students as it is to me. I will relax, recognize it could be a cross-cultural difference, and put more of my concern on participation rather than punctuality. Wow, look at the time, I've gotta get going. Thank you for watching this video blog on cross-cultural communication. So the question was, isn't it about time? Different cultures have a different orientation to time. Some cultures have a displaced time orientation. Time is viewed as exact. Some cultures have a diffused time orientation. Time is seen as approximate. Check back to Welchland.com every Monday for new video blog. Whew, good. I was concerned that my college students weren't interested in my lectures. Maybe they still aren't. But maybe there is a cross-cultural communication component. I won't take it personally. I will proceed professionally. Good to know. Good to know.